Haftarah, Avayagash, Ezekiel 37, 15 to 28, Hapthert, Wigbush, Beach, Zakal, Seaman, Lamed, Zane. Kind of looks like a wow, but if that's the right number, but sometimes the text is numbered differently in the Aramea to Hebrew than it is in the English or Latin or whatever. The word of God is a noun and verb. Came to me again, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel and his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Yusuf, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, formerly the Church of Christ, um, some offshoots like the Community of Christ um, have acted like this is a prophecy of their church coming to pass. But that doesn't make as much sense in the context because it's something physically done before them. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not tell us what thou meanest by these? <clears throat> Say unto them, Thus saith the leader of the community, Establishing, established. Behold, I will take the stick of Yusuf, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows. I will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And, you know, the LDS, or whatever the other groups that are linked to the whole Joseph Smith thing, um, they have what the Christians call the Old Testament, which is really a misleading rendition rendered from the Catholic Septuagint, um, you know, because there's a lot of things that aren't really, that are leading translations, you could call it, um, what they call the New Testament, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, formerly called the Book of Commandments, and the Pearl of Great Price, so all five of those into one thing, and they think, well, the later ones, the Book of Mormon, the Pearl of Great Price, the Doctrine and Covenants are grafted onto the other two as one stick, um, particularly the Book of Mormon. Um, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes, and say unto them, Thus saith Lord, God is a verb and noun, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. Well, some of that has more or less happened, but let's remember genetically, depending on what you're looking at, we're looking at 90 to 95% of the Jews not being Semitic. You know, it doesn't show up, you know, and, and I'm even thinking of the way that people think of black in this country, that if you're, if you show any, if you have any black features, then you're black. Um, you don't really even have that, you know, they look at their genetics, it's like, well, you know, if you're going to claim to be a Semite, everybody, pretty much everybody's a Semite at this point, right? Um, but certainly the people who claim who claim that ancestry, and why does it really matter what your ancestry is? And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. And things like this happened quite, you know, repeatedly after this point. Um, 
Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. You know, because there was two periods where they came to power as Israelites, and two periods where they came to power as Jews, and were in the first period of the Zionists coming to power. Well, I mean, you know, if it makes sense if there's two periods like that, too. Um, and David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them, and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And those who have turned their back yep, shall know that I the Lord do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. And we see that uh, pagan and heathen are not proper words for what we're looking at. Pagan and heathen have nothing to do with their religious identity. It's um, pagans, you know, um, there would be divisions into farming plots. Um, and you could also s say the um, patched up homes. You could say the heathen... Um, there'd be weaving, you know, the, the, the thatch work homes, you could say, uh, with, with fireplaces and stuff, those were, those were the heathens, which tended to be the same people, right? But, oh, and I, I don't know what this says, uh, uh, Chipritz, Kwi, Yachu, Yaki? I don't know, it's too obscure. We he deber Yahweh. Ali Lamur Wata. Bun Adam. Kutch. Luk. Ats. Achid. Wuktub. Al you. Leh. Wudda. Wul Bani. Yishra. Chibru. Wul Kutch. Ats. Achid Waktub Al Yu Yusuf Atz Aprim Wakal Bait Yashral Habru Wakram Atam Achid Al Achid Luk Lats Achid Wahyu Lachdim Bidak Wakashur Yamru Alik Bani Amak Lamur Halwa Tagid Lanu Mah Al Luk Dipper Alham Kah Amr Adni Yahweh Hana Ani Lakach at Atz Yusuf Asher Bid Aprim Wishbathi Yashral Chibru Winti Autum Alu at Ats Yahuda Washitum Lats Achid Wahyu Achid Bidi Wahyu Hatsyam Asher Tuktub Aliham Bidak La Yin Yaham Woodbur Aliham Kah Amr Adni Yahwa Hana Ani Lakach At Bani Yashra Nabin Hagwim Asher 
Halkushum Wakpatsti Atum Musbib Wahbati Autum Al Adamatum Washiti Autum Lagui Achid Barts Bahri Yashral Wamluk Achid Yahya Lakram Lamluk Walla Yahya Aud Lashni Quim Walla Itsu Aud Lashti Mem Lakut Aud Walla Yathmau Aud Bug Luliham Wub Shuk Wutsyaham Wub Kul Push I Hum Wah Wush Ati Autum Makul Mush Patiham Asher Chith Ow Baham Wuth Hurti Autum Wah you li lam Wani ahya laham lalhim Wabdi dud Malik aliham Yuru ah Atjad yah yah Laklam Wab Mushpati Yilku Wichkuti Yishmru Washu Autum Wishbu Al Hearts Asher Nati Labdi Li Akam Asher Yashbu Bah Abwatikam Bishbu Al Yah Hama Wabni Ham Wabni Bani Ham Ad Aulam Wood Abdi Nshia Maham Laulam Wakrati Laham Barit Shalom Barit Aulam Yahya Autum Wunt Kyum Wahar biti autum wanti at makdashi betukam laulam wahya meskini aliham wahiyati laham lalhim wahma Yahyu li lam we dao hagwin ki ani yahwa makdash at yashral bahyut makdashi patukam laulam nashi is debt Nashia Nasha is a captain, a chief, an exalted one, a cloud, a governor, a prince, a ruler, a vapor, and might as well share a similar term right here. We have a Utsi, which is an over you know an overseer but also has negative connotations like ruinous, strifing, desolate, causing to lay waste. But in Hebrew, I think it doesn't have as much meaning as it does in Aramea. You know, someone you flee from, but...
Shenmi is crimson, scarlet, another a second. Shenya hated. Shana is sleep. 